people who are beyond. This is Pixel by Pixel. And we are playing SimCity Cities of Tomorrow. Now, as you know, I've uploaded previous videos of this. I don't really enjoy the cities that we have now because I didn't really understand the game back then. Now I understand the game. So I won't act like a complete and utter imbecile. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. My computer was acting up. Headset got weird. I had to get a new headset. Mic doesn't work. So I had to use the old headset's mic because the old headset just couldn't transfer in sound. Uh, and I had to put that around my neck with the sound headset on my ears. So, I don't know if I sound loud. I must. I'm gonna put that down a bit. Okay. So, we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna completely abandon Birdseed. Which means that we can go like this. Just, just click abandoned region. Bye bye Birdseed! It's gone! We're gonna create a game. And let's see what maps we can do. Cape Trinity. It's good for small stuff, but we don't really want it. Whitewater Valley. That looks cool. It has like a spiral type of lake form, river form, whatever you want to call it. Reflection Atoll. This actually it looks good. I kind of want more than one great work though, in case we want to hold this off. This looks really cool with the uh, volcano in the middle. I love that. It's surrounded by a dormant volcano. It's not even extinct. So it's like there's a chance, but I could have too much. Okay. Serenity Key looks awesome. I'm going to accept this one. This is gonna be a private region. We're gonna put not in sandbox mode. We're going to name the region. Uh how about Alright, well, Let's name the volcano. How about we go for like a Hawaii type style and we're gonna name it. Oh, my caps is on. Sorry. Waka Woo! Woo Woo Islands. Isles. Look at that. Waka Woo Woo Isles. And we are going to clean the city next. These all seem like they would be tourist cities. Except, oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh. Look at this. Waka Woo Woo just went, goes completely in with it. New Lani. That could be good for tourism. That would be perfect for like Omega Ko. Oh. North Wakia. South Wakia. Uh, Namaka Beach. Or Panalo Point. Sound like one of the only names that doesn't sound like an African tribe banging a drum. So I think we'll claim Panelo Paniolo Point. We'll do it. As a tourism city. And we're gonna play By the way, stick around for after this. Because we are going, because we are going to, because sorry, I am going to show you the city that I've been working on a lot, and we're going to show you what you can do with some city cities tomorrow. So you guys just wait until the end of the episode, and I will show you that. It's really cool, and I really, really would like you guys to see it. Here we go. Look at this. It's beautiful. Wow. And then there's the volcano. This is cool. Okay. Let's start sketching out our crap. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Kinda has a curve. Maybe we can put some wavy roads along here. Okay, first we gotta get a feel of it. So let's go with some wind factor. There's a train. Alright, wind's going that way, which means we'll probably want to put the industrial over here. Fine by me. Alright, so we'll put the industrial over here. So we'll link up some dirt roads to that. Uh, to get the city the least sick, we're going to want to put our residential right over here and commercial. Maybe mix it in a bit. And we'll put the mega towers probably somewhere in the middle or maybe along this side. And we'll leave some room for some other things. Okay. So let's zone out our industrial first. 
this huge road just stretching out to here. Maybe going like that. And we'll go into arc. And go like that. If you press control or alt or something to make it a 90 degree angle, something. Oh yeah, so if we do this, shift, go. No. Shift click, maybe? Nope, it doesn't do it. Okay, look, shift, it makes like a perfect circle. That's cool. I'm just learning now about the roads. I don't usually use the roads. So if you shift it, it just goes straight. So there's not much to that. I'm guessing for straight, if you shift it, it's 45 degree and 90 degree only. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that would be useful, actually. All right, let's do this. Put it out this way and out that way. And we'll lock it out like that. That's horrible. Okay, let's rezone that. Alright. Right here. Now we'll put like our power plants and stuff right here. So let's zone it. Of course we need some industrial. Don't want to put too much. Or else we'll have an unemployment crisis. And I always struggle with that. We'll put in a power source. Like a solar power plant. And we'll put that right... Maybe... Here works. Here works quite well. Okay. And along with that, we need a water hy a hydro pumping station. Not much water available here kind of just scattered put a water pumping a water hydro pumping station here uh, and a sewage outflow pipe right here we are about to go bankrupt we'll take out a bond okay now we can we pause it and make some stuff yeah I believe we can yeah, we can. So let's put something out here. Uh, I'll stretch it like this. Yeah, that works. There's just a random road there now. Uh, maybe we should keep that there, actually, and just call it random road. Or we can get rid of it. Okay. I'll stretch it. It's all going to meet up, and it's going to be super complex, and it keeps doing that. <laughs> all right. Maybe we could put like a maybe we can meet everything in like the little part of the middle here. Alright, so maybe what we can do is we can put it right here. We don't really want actually this isn't like the area we could put circle we should put circles in though. Here we go. And then we'll zone in commercial. And then we'll zone it. Sorry, residential. And then we'll zone in some commercial here. Maybe with some more residential in the back here. Residential is always at a huge demand and it gets annoying. But here we go. Now we have processes. Now, of course, we have nobody in the region, so they're going to start complaining about power soon, but it'll wear off. And here we go. Now, once people get in, that's going to start working. And it's in the 10, about 10 a.m., 10.30. Yeah, they're complaining about power, but people actually need to start showing up to work. Here we go.
It's gonna start pumping it out. Perfect power. All complaining. Not anymore. Woohoo! I got working water too. We're all good. Okay. Low well commercials already going up a bit, so we'll just soon a bit more. <laughs> you know what this means? Let's put it in a town hall. It's in government. How about put it in right here? Hello, people of the world of beyond. This is Pixel by Pixel, and I don't know why I'm saying the intro again, but I am here to show you guys the city that I was talking about that I said I would show to you. So, let's start off first with the city hall. I guess. The city's called Pixel Mission, of course. So, as you can see on our city hall, we have four attachments, and these four are a Department of Finance. A Department of Tourism, a Department of Transportation, and a Department of Utilities. Why the frick not? Let's make it a helipad. Because that'll be awesome. So I just put down a helipad and of course a sign. Because you, you can't have a city hall without a sign. And then we got all these people just rushing. So let's start out with the Department of Utilities, I guess. Let's see what else we have. So, oh frick, what's going on? We got a water shortage. Uh, it's okay. That that won't kill anything. Let's get back to what we were doing. So this is a sewage treatment plant for all the crap that literally goes around the city. Uh, so we have are taking care of this. This is part of the Department of Utilities. We can have a sewage sanitizer, but you can max it out, and it still will not keep up a lot of what this can do so my suggestion is just to get this and it helps a lot and it helps quite a bit more so right here we have our water pumping station and this doesn't have much of a supply underneath it because our city's kind of dry with water but you know what we have stuff and this is pumping water out to the city and then I'll show you why we need all, quite a bit of water. But our next utility is the recycling center, and this is where it all starts off. How I got over two million five hundred thousand simoleons. So we're maxed out with it, with sixteen recycling collection trucks and four delivery trucks. It is making metal and alloy. Now it seems a bit weird for what I'm about to show you, but it'll make sense later. So that gives us supplies that we can sell on the market. What we have here is a processor factory that I've closed. Why? <clears throat> because you see how the I wasn't making met I was making metal and alloy. Although this needs plastic and alloy, and this uh, we could sell processors and it's like eighty thousand dollars per shipment, and it's so much money. So this gives us processors which we can use for like Omega Co if we ever wanted it. We can just ship them off anywhere, really. We can do a lot of things with this. And we get tons of money from it. That's how I got it. See, look, I believe I even have 
processors. Processors right here and here. Uh, we made about three deliveries a month, which gave us quite a bit of profit. So that's that. I closed it for one reason, but we'll get over to that. Uh, the next thing I'll show you is over here in my main area. Yeah, see, here's the trade depot where we sold the processors, but we don't really have them anymore. So here's what we have here, the Department of Tourism. So, we can, once you have a Department of Tourism, you can go into Culture, and you can get these tourist attractions. They generate tons and tons and tons, like, tons, of profit for your city when it has Departments of Transportation, like our train station, or our ferry terminal. And that's that. And so this will make us a ton of money. I have only high wealth tourist attractions at the moment. So we have the Willis Tower because I I'm like super close to Chicago. So yeah. We have the Willis Tower, which is generating us as you can that turned dark. As you can see, sixty five thousand dollars a day. And then we have the Arc de Triomphe. And that's making us twenty one thousand dollars a day. And then we have the Statue of Liberty, which is making us $10,000 a day. Now that is a lot of profit. But then we have here, an Arcology Launch Center. Now, I'll show you what... So right now, this is a museum. Since this is a museum, we are getting profits from what they're going into and paying for the museum for. For Arcology launches. But here, here's what we could do. We've already launched two of them, but I want you want you guys to see what it's like with it on. So here it is. It's two hundred thousand dollars to place a new one. It's five hundred thousand dollars though to necessarily do anything else. And right here we have the ecology, and what what can happen is once we get five hundred thousand people, we can launch this bad boy. We can get a huge payout. This thing will pay us hundreds of thousands of dollars once we launch it and it makes tons of profit when we launch it we've launched two and they've landed both safely i don't know what happens if they don't land safely okay so here we have the mega towers so mega tower one making us twenty nine thousand basically thirty thousand dollars a day uh that's because we have an office level in here and, and office levels are very they, they tire your workers, so that's why I have two park levels and something else, which I will show you guys level later in here. But this keeps them all happy so that they don't start to leave. And then we have a solar power crown, which powers our city even more. Uh, because the solar power farm over here isn't really cutting it. Over here, Mega Tower number two. Another regular Mega Tower. This is losing us profit. For some reason, it's making a lot less profit than the last time, but whatever. So this profit comes from solely a mall level. Not a very good income, but whatever. And we have a park level on here because it doesn't cause that much stress when you just have a mall level. But the reason why office levels make you so much is because they just stress out your people so much. And then we have something else up here, which is very cool. You have to research this in the academy, which I'll get to later. And this is a nuclear reactor level. Uh, this is why we need a ton of water, because as you can see, if I go into the water map, this takes up a crap ton of water. Like, so much water. And it gives us power in return. Which is really good. And this cannot explode and will not, I believe, emit radiation. Which is awesome. Right here we have a public park which is closed because it needs water. I'm not sure why water is such a problem. But, whatever. Uh, so, this grants happiness to all apartments. And it, when I say happiness, it means big happiness. How about we just... We'll just fix this now. By, by putting something right here. For grabs and giggles. And that's our Mega Tower number 2. And then we have Mega Tower number 3 and Elite Mega Tower, which is making us over $30,000 a day. Uh, because we have a high wealth mall level, which generates a crap ton of profit, as you can see. It generates 15000 which is awesome. And then we also have this, a hologram advertising crown. This boosts up the profit of mall and office levels by 20%. Which means that our office level up here, and our mall level in here, and our mall level here, are making us 
crap tons of profit. So we get stuff from tourism and mega towers mostly, and exporting. Next thing I'll show you is the academy! See, they're talking about an academy because we just researched something. So what this is, it has these workers, and once you get enough workers, well, well, you can start with any type of worker, you can press research, and you have to get certain types of annexes to research certain things, but I'll get to that in the main series. Uh, so what we can do, say we want a sewage sanitizer, actually no, it's not good. Let's go with something that I actually want. Say we want a waste reduction level. Waste reduction level, I believe, needs a plasma physics annex, I believe. So we get a plasma physics annex after we upgrade this, and we put it right by the academy, and it gives us the option to put down a waste reduction level and a fusion power plant. And then we can click on it simply if we have fifty thousand dollars, and just click on it. It'll take out $50,000, and it'll start researching this. Now, the more workers that you have, the faster the research will go. So, you can see I'm basically maxed out. It'll go to 200 sometimes sooner. And so, I'm basically maxed out. It'll go at the fastest speed, but as well as control net. Control net upgrades as soon as you also get annexes. And what the control net will do, see, it's boosted by 50% because we have two annexes. And it's currently transmitting 15000 uh, control net and control net is what makes stuff go just like so we have an attachment for our power plant that is the solar amplifier and that basically makes a ton more power than what it already made but it costs 1250 control net and if we have 1250 here it adds up perfectly and then we can get a solar amplifier but Beware, if you do use too much control net, you're screwed. And then we got these maglev stations, which take 50 control net only. Uh, and these ride people around the town, which I think is amazing. So I have them looped around town. There's one there, one here. I believe there is one right here, yeah. One there. Uh, and I believe there is one right here. And those are our maglev stations, which gets people around town very easily. Uh, don't really have anything special with you with uh, fire or anything, but we'll hopefully get to that in the main series. So, with the academy, we can also do all sorts of crap, like plop down a control net facility if you do not have enough workers and enough control net. So really, that's it right now. We also have a so, anyway, uh, oh, I forgot about our education, I'm sorry. So, we have many forms of education. We have a community college, uh, a grade school, which I believe they're going to ask me because their classes are full, uh, currently, I believe. Uh, and then eventually I'll get up an education level, and that'll help us out as well. And then we got a public library somewhere over here, I believe, and that's the Edwards Estate, that's not over here. It's loaning books to people and it's making people smarter. And so that's it really. They're gonna ask us about the garbage atomizer that I just got. Uh, but I'll go over all that in the main series. In the meantime, I want to show you guys one final thing. The Arcology. I am currently making an Arcology for a great work and that gives you crap tons of visitors like holy crap tons and we need metal alloy and TV shipped here that's why I'm making metal and alloy oh I never even turned this on that's probably why they frick I feel stupid so this will ship over metal and alloy to here and then once we have that shipped over we just make a ton more profit to upgrade our headquarters we're right here once we get 1,000, 1,500,000 electronics daily profit, which I believe is 1,500,000 dollars a month, then we will be able to plop down a consumer electronics division. And what this will do, it's, it'll make us TVs, and you need a lot of them. And you can also sell them. 
for more money than processors, which is amazing. So that's what I was doing with the metal and alloy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little informational bit that I had in the end of here. Sorry it was a bit longer than I anticipated. I didn't really mean it to be that long. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content, new channel, hit that like button and that subscribe button. I would love to see you guys over at my Twitter. I don't have my Twitter up yet. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I will get that up. Or Google Plus or whatever the frick you want to follow me on. So, I hope you guys have an enjoyable day or whatever you're doing. So, yeah. That was a horrible outro. And be an air chief!